Hi, I'm Sophie. I'm 27 and with the help of Tom Desborough, I have recently overcome emetophobia using the Thrive Programme. When I was 18, I started showing traits of emetophobia, although at the time I didn't really know what that was. When I would tell my friends and family how I was feeling, they would just say, oh, well, nobody likes being sick, Sophie. But to me, it was kind of a little bit more than that. It started when I was sick myself. Um, at the time, I thought I was okay. Um, I would reacted how everybody else would have reacted. It wasn't until afterwards that everybody said to me, oh, Sophie, you know, you were really sick. I'm, you know, I'm surprised you're okay. And my clogs started to tick. Um, and then over the course of a year, there was about six or seven other episodes of me witnessing vomiting that I reacted to a little bit worse each time. I moved forward and it got to the point where I didn't want to go to work. I worked in a school. I had been to university to study to be a teacher and everything just became a little bit harder. I didn't really know what to do. Um, the mention of sick or the mention of someone having a tummy ache was enough to send me into a panic attack and spending another 10 minutes in the staff room um, with a cup of water waiting for myself to calm down. My sister um, has always had, from what I can remember, some sort of anxiety. Um, so seeing panic attacks was seen as normal. She'd have them quite often. Um, so when I was reacting in the same way, I just assumed it was it was the, the right reaction and it's something that you had no control over. Um, it wasn't until my dad actually was driving to work um, one day and he heard um, Mary's testimonial from the Thrive Programme on Radio 5 Live. He heard the word emetophobia, so pulled over on the motorway in the nearest lay-by and listened. Um, and then that's when my journey with the Thrive Programme began. Um, at the time, I um, I researched who was uh, trained to do the Thrive Programme um, and spent probably six to eight months with another therapist who, turns out, wasn't actually physically trained. She was teaching herself at the same time, so didn't really get the results I was hoping for. Um, but I taught the, the book itself taught me enough to kind of survive and to and to move on necessarily. So just you know to it improved me a little bit, um, but I was never a hundred percent there. Fast forward about six years, um, and I was able to control um, my thinking around emetophobia. Um, but there was still part of me that, you know, I was okay if other people were sick, um, providing it wasn't a bug. Um, if it was a bug, then God forbid I would run. Because if it was to be me me in danger of being sick myself, um, I, I couldn't cope with that. Um, it wasn't until my best friend, my best friend was um, due to go to a wedding and wanted to borrow some dresses um, that I realised that enough was enough and I had to, I had to seek help again. Um, I took some dresses around to her house in the morning. Um, in the evening, her little girl was very, very poorly with norovirus. Um, when I found out, I went back into panic attack mode um, and just didn't know what to do. Um, my sister, um, as I mentioned earlier, had already found Tom Desborough um, and he was helping her with her um, agoraphobia and anxiety. Um, so she recommended that I just went to go and see him for a little catch up session. Um, maybe just to to iron out the creases where I kind of failed to to continue with the Thrive Program um, over the years. So I got in touch with Tom, um, and my first session was interesting. We realised quite quickly that I would have benefited or would benefit from the full program again, um, not just a touch up session. Um, so we decided to go for that. <clears throat> I started on the eighteenth of. March um, and had scores very very high um, in terms of um, how well how bad I was so um, my my self-esteem for example was at 22% um, and my social anxiety was at 70% um, my sense of power of control was very low um, was 41% so um, no wonder why I needed to go back um, fast forward six to eight weeks um, and I am thriving. I never realised just how much um, responsibility you have to take actually for your mental health. It's very easy to blame other people, um, seek help um, in medication form, um, 
but it also takes a lot of courage, I think, to realise that you are in control. And it's because of you that that you are feeling that way. Um, you have to you have to accept um, responsibility, um, and I also think you um, you have to want to do it. You have to want to admit the fact that you have made a mistake. And that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. When you go to school, people tr- people teach you how to tie your shoelaces. They teach you maths, they teach you English, they don't teach you how to think, which is in one way a good thing because you need to be you need to be independent, you need to be responsible for your own actions, but at the same time, sometimes you need just a little bit of help, you need a little bit of guidance. So I found guidance with Tom and I'm so glad I did. I am now uh, what I would class as thriving, um, Tom would class me as thriving, my um, self-esteem score is the highest he's ever seen, it's now at 98%. And I'm loving life. When I think of life, this is how it should be. Life should be like this. I've got a brilliant job. I've changed my job now. I never would have done that before. I've been away with work. I stayed away for four days, three nights in a hotel I'd never been to before, with people I barely knew. Um, and, And I loved it. It's one of the best experiences of my life because I processed it properly. I processed it as a positive. I kept processing the positives. And I was telling myself, well done, the whole way through. People have, been, people have been in touch, my friends especially, friends' parents have been in touch, asking me what's the difference. And the difference is, with CBT, with tapping, with hypnotherapy, trust me, I've tried it all, they teach you, as Rob Kelly would say, to put out the fire. Thrive teaches you not to build the fire in the first place, and that is the most crucial skill I think there is to learn because by not building that fire in the first place you never have to worry. Tom I am so so grateful for everything you've given to me all the help and guidance you've you've given over the last few weeks I'm truly grateful and I am so pleased to be thriving.